Welcome to Sonic Fit. This video demonstrates how students register for a class and then see their assignments and take assignments for that class. To register for a class, they click on the register for a class button, register, and then let's register the student. Susie Strawberry The join code places this registration in a specific roster of a specific class. Students need to make sure to use the join code provided by the instructor. Instructors can find more information about this on the instructor interface overview video. After you type in your join code, it lists the instructor and the course to the right of the join code. If this doesn't match your instructor and the course you're registering for, you have the wrong join code and you're not going to be able to do the assignments. The student should pick their own password. They'll be able to change it later and the instructor will also be able to give them a new password if they ever forget it. Now that we've registered, we could log in here or from the main page you just hit login. The main page for the student is the My Work page, and it lists work for various units. This one's showing summer of 2010. Students see their assignments in total laid out here, and then they see their most recent assignments listed over here in the, in the banner. To do an assignment, you just click on it. So this one is an assignment that's due on the 7th of August. So I'll click on note names. And then I'm taking the assignment. Notice that all of my settings buttons go away because those were defined by the instructor. So in this exercise, I'm identifying the alphabet letters. And it was a quick assignment created just to show you how to do it. Then if you um, go back to my work page, then it shows that I've completed that assignment and the next assignment on the list shows up here. While there aren't any practice logs over here on the left banner, if there were they would just look like this in this box and the student needs to demonstrate 20 minutes of, of work for a practice log. They can click on any of these exercises. So in this case, scale degree exercises or flashcards for note names, intervals, or key signatures. So for example, if they hit on key signature, then it's going to take them to the key signature assignment. They can change the settings to make it something that works for their ability level. Say they need to practice base clef exercises and with lots of time available um, and that you want to focus on just flats. So then you hit start and be flat. You can see another unit by clicking on it. So here's a unit that you're going to start taking in September. The other thing that a student needs to know is um, my profiles. Here a student can see their information and change their password. In the scenario that they forget their password, the instructor can issue them a new password and then they can go in and change it to something private. That's about all there is to the student interface. If a student wants to work on Sonic Fit exercises outside of the required work for the class, they just go to sonicfit.com and click on the exercises through the main interface.